Okay guys, so the biggest bomb has just dropped literally five minutes ago as I'm recording this video. Spider-Man is coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh my god. We have been begging and pleading for years for this to happen. And when the rumors came about last year in 2014 with the Sony leaks, there was talks back and forth that Spider-Man and a Marvel and Sony talking, and then the rumors died down. The last thing that we heard before this piece of information I'm about to read from the official Marvel website was that Spider-Man was going to appear in the, um, was going to appear in Avengers Infinity War Part 1 that comes out in 2018 of May. That was the last thing we heard. Then everything died. Now it's official. Marvel and Sony have come up with a collaborative deal that has been rumored forever and it is official. And I'm going to read off a little bit of the beginning of this whole article that Marvel has posted themselves. It is legit. They finally confirmed this. So here we go. It says right below the title of it. The title is Sony Pictures Entertainment brings Marvel Studios into the amazing world of Spider-Man. I don't know how they're going to do this. I don't know if it's a reboot. I don't know. Maybe if I read more, I'll be able to see completely. Marvel's Kevin Feige to produce next installment of the Spider-Man franchise with Amy Pascal, who I think was is a part of Sony. I think she stepped down to become a producer of the next Spider-Man films. So anyways, here we go. Sony Pictures Entertainment and Marvel Studios announced today that Sony is bringing back is bringing Marvel into the Spider-Man, the amazing world of Spider-Man. I'm trying to read this because I'm, I'm just really excited. Sorry, guys. Under the deal, the new Spider-Man will first appear in a Marvel film from Marvel Cinematic Universe. It doesn't be, it's not specific on which film. If it's Civil War, that's the perfect film to put him in, but that's just speculation. Sony Pictures will therefore, sorry, there is music playing, guys. How do I mute? Okay, so I'm going to mute my damn audio. Anyways, I'm not going to edit this crap. Anyways, continue on. Sony Pictures will thereafter release the next installment of its $4 billion Spider-Man dollar franchise on July 28, 2017. So he will appear first in a Marvel film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If the next Spider-Man film is coming out July 28, uh, 2017, it will more likely be Civil War in 2016. In a film, the, the next Spider-Man film will be co-produced by Kevin Feige, the leader of the Marvel Studios, and his expert team at Marvel, so him and his expert team at Marvel, and Amy Pascal, who oversaw the franchise launch for the studio 13 years ago. Together, they will collaborate on a new creative direction for the web slinger. Sony Pictures will continue to finance. And here's the thing. Here's Sony Pictures. This is what Sony Pictures still has involved with this whole thing. Sony Pictures will continue to finance, distribute, own, and have final creative control of the Spider-Man films. Now... That says Spider-Man films. Now, does Marvel have the final creative control over what happens in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films? We won't, we're not 100% sure. This next line continues here. Marvel and Sony Pictures are also exploring opportunities to integrate characters from the MCU into future Spider-Man films. So not only will Spider-Man be coming over into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is a very smart idea. I'm so glad this is official. But also, they're also exploring opportunities to integrate characters from the MCU into Spider-Man films, which means, hypothetically, if Spider-Man appears in Civil War, hypothetically, it's not confirmed he's going to appear in Civil War, but it's pretty obvious if he's going to appear before 2017, it's either, it either has to be Civil War, or it has to be, uh, what other films come out in 2017? Guardians of the Galaxy 2, it's going to be Civil War, he's going to appear in Civil War, I'm pretty sure he's going to pop up there, but... When he, uh, when he appears in his own solo films, we're going to have characters from the MCU. So Nick Fury might show up. Captain America. If he appears in Civil War, it would make sense. If you have Civil War, they could also branch off and have part of the storyline for the first official Spider-Man film after the MCU appearance. They could bring over Captain America. They could bring over Black Widow. They could do a lot of things. But this is huge news. And I know I spent a lot of the first time here just running through all of this information. I'm literally reading this as I'm recording this video because when I heard that this news was literally dropped, it is a huge, huge piece of news that is official. And, you know, the speculations and rumors were great, but to hear confirmation is the best thing. And I knew I had to make a video about this because this is fantastic news. Uh, what do you guys think of this deal? Because uh, it's there's no confirmation in this that I can tell. 
uh, you know, they're gonna continue. There's uh, you know, quotes and stuff about how they love Spider Man, Marvel, and blah blah blah. They're glad they came up with this collaboration, blah blah blah. However, I'm more curious about what's gonna happen. What are your thoughts about this, guys? Because this does not state if Spider Man is rebooted. It does not state if that if if it is Andrew Garfield reprising as Spider Man again. This does not say when exactly those events took place in New York for the Spider-Man film and if it will contradict what's happening. So my assumption is no. What are your thoughts? Would you rather see Spider-Man rebooted because he's coming into the Marvel Cinematic Universe or would you rather them keep Andrew Garfield and continue with that and him come over into Civil War? Hypothetically, not confirmed, but that's the assumption at this point that I'm, I'm assuming and then him come back and then do uh, start off again in the new franchise alongside with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What are your thoughts about this, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, my personal thoughts are basically this. I'm fine either way. If they went with the reboot and they rebooted the character, like rebooted the person who's going to play Spider-Man to bring him into the Cinematic Universe and then branch off and do his own solo films, it would make more sense. But if they do decide to stick with Andrew Garfield, I really don't have an issue. I just want to make sure that they address that the events that happen in New York doesn't contradict what's happening in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because we know Avengers Tower is in New York. So that they have to address that. But I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows? But like I said, either way, I'm happy. But what do you guys think of this? Like I said, let me know in the comment section below. I'm very excited for this news. And this is huge news. This is probably the biggest news we've heard in a long time. This is this personally, in my opinion, this is bigger than... Iron Man being announced for Civil War. This is bigger than that. Anyways, guys, that's my video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, like this video. Let me know your thoughts about Spider-Man in the Cinematic Universe. This is epic. This is amazing. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.